So in today's video, I'm gonna test, is it actually easier to draw your three wood than it is your driver? If you're new down to my channel, welcome down to Ali Taylor Golf. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for coming back to watch some more. If you are enjoying today's content though and you don't currently subscribe, please consider clicking that subscribe button below. Remember to ring that notification bell and then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. But for now, let's get on with the video. Right, so the Masters is on just at the moment and it's unbelievable with the top players, the number of times the commentators say the reason that he's dropping down to three wood is that it's easier to draw his three wood than it is his driver. And if it's been said over and over and over, well, it's got to be true, hasn't it? So in today's video, I'm going to test, I'm going to hit driver and three wood. I'm going to see how the ball shapes. I'm going to talk about the difference in the clubs, maybe the difference in the setup, which makes it easier. And ultimately, is it actually easier to draw your three wood than it is your driver? Right, so I'm gonna hit some just normal stock shots with my three wood, some stock shots with my driver. I've got some numbers across the bottom of the screen just showing kind of path, club face compared to path, which is obviously huge about how the ball shapes. Uh, angle of attack, which as I discuss why it's easier or not to shape the ball with a draw, what the angle of attack maybe influences, and then just some distances for driver and three wood. But I'm gonna go three wood first, not too many shots, but just maybe a couple of stock shots for me. Gonna aim dead straight, everything nice and neutral. See that one just setting off a little bit left and drawing. So not the longest three wood, but the stock one there, definitely working a little bit from right to left. Let's go one more three wood. Again, setting off a little bit left, turning a bit more. And we could see there, particularly that last one, my club path was almost four degrees from the inside. My club face was seven degrees closed. So any time that, ball, uh, that club face is closed to the path, we're gonna see the ball shape from right to left. And we saw the angle of attack on that last one was one degree down. So my low point was after the ball and the club was traveling down. So that switches me into driver. And again, I'm gonna go just kind of stock, normal shot for me, aiming nice and straight, everything nice and neutral. Got a really good strike. Now that one did just turn over a tiny bit, but we can see my club path there was actually very slightly out to win. My club face was slightly open, but that one turning over a touch and I'm hitting up on the golf ball. Right, so probably on that one, I didn't hit up as much as I normally would do. So let's go another driver. Maybe try and hit up a little bit more. It felt like I was a little bit more up. So my club path still out to in two degrees. Club face wasn't quite as good there. And I hit up 3.4 degrees. Now, just before I talk about the differences between kind of driver and three wood, what I would say guys is if you enjoy my content, I'm now starting to do a little bit more exclusive content on my Facebook page, which is Ali Taylor Golf as well. So if you are enjoying my YouTube stuff, please pop over to Facebook, give the page a like, watch the videos, a little bit shorter, not as in depth as some of the stuff on here, but I'm gonna be doing more and more stuff on Facebook. And if it's something that you're interested in, please you know, comment below, let me know what videos I can do on Facebook and on YouTube. So that moves us nicely into the difference between the two clubs. Now, in theory, the only real difference is obviously size of heads, length of shafts, and amount of loft. Now, a lot of people talk about how maybe less loft makes it more difficult to draw the ball. 
not into that me. If you deliver the club in the, the, the same way, the ball will shape the same tilt, whether it be right to left or left to right, but certainly less loft may accentuate a little bit. But it doesn't mean that if you're drawing three wood and you swing it the same with driver, you'll fade driver. Now the difference we do see between the two though, particularly from face on, is my ball position's a little bit different. So certainly with driver, my ball position's a little bit further forward. And we did see a big change in kind of my angle of attack. So because three wood is further back in my stance, the club's traveling down into impact. And as the club's moving down, it's still moving more to the right. Driver, the club was working up. And as a result of that, the path is starting to work more to the left. So the big thing there is if I get the club face pointing at target with both clubs, the three woods moving to the right or from the inside and the driver's moving to the left or from the outside, I am going to see different shape of shots. But then the really easy thing would be if I were to say, right, with my three wood, I'm actually going to try and hit up on the ball a little bit. So low T, so it's not quite as easy to do. That one fell out of the toe. Yeah, so definitely there, the strike's not really, really helped. And I've still hit down. So I think if I were to tee three wood up nice and high and put the same swing it with driver, I would still get a fade. So then the argument is, right, if it's as easy as just moving that ball position back a little bit, and I have done a whole other video on this about how to stop slicing driver. So I'm gonna set the ball a little bit more further back in my stance. I'm gonna feel like I let the, club, the low point be a little bit further after now, and let's see if this draws the ball like it did with the three wood. There we go, there's the draw. I've actually still hit up on that, even though I felt like I wasn't. But we can see the path much more from the inside, even though the club face, just saying a tiny bit open, maybe just a couple of millimeters towards the toe, but we can see there really, really easy to draw the driver. Right then guys, so is it easier to draw three wood than driver? For me personally, I don't think it's any different. I think if I fully understand what I need to change in order for me to deliver the club in a way that gives me a draw, it makes no difference to me whether it's driver or three wood. I think some golfers out there will definitely say three wood is easier. Um, I think more down to length of shaft, they feel there's maybe a little bit more control there. And I think just a lot of golfers swing driver very, very different to the way they swing three wood or five wood. I would ultimately say a lot of golfers actually just struggle to draw the ball full stop, but that's maybe a whole other video. Now, when you're watching the top players in the world, you know, is driver more difficult to draw than three wood as today's the last day of the Masters. And I'll bet it'll get said 20 times tonight on commentary. I think... A lot of the guys on tour like seeing a fade with their driver. So probably have them actually set up in a way that gives them optimal performance with the fade. So the driver's probably not set in a great way to help them draw the ball. But when your skill level is as those players are, I don't think it should be easier to draw or fade one club over the other. That then comes down to a little bit of confidence. But as long as you deliver the club in the way that you need to draw the ball, the ball will draw. If you deliver it in a way for the ball to fade, it will fade. But for me, it's just another one of those myths that three wood is easier to draw than driver. Practice what you need to do. And if you do draw your three wood, put the driver in the same place in your setup and put the same swing and you will get the same shot. Because the golf ball only knows what the club does at impact to influence the ball. And if the club is delivered in the same way, the ball will do exactly what it needs to do. So guys, hope you've enjoyed my video. If you have, like it and share it. Comment below and I'll get back to as many people as I can. If you've enjoyed today's content and you don't currently subscribe, please consider clicking the button below. 
Remember to ring that notification bell and then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.